On this episode, with on the job with Steve. Again. He's looking deep to eat. Eaton's going to catch that. And that's the first touchdown for the Chieftains of the game. That was pretty good coverage. Just a little go route. This is Steve Webb. He's the superintendent for Vancouver Public Schools. That's a full-time job, and then some. But a few times every year, Steve ditches the suit and tie because every good boss needs to know the challenges his employees face at work. He's making lunch, mowing the lawn, fixing buses, and painting walls. It's on the job with Steve. I'm gonna spend some time with our student game time production crew setting up, uh, learning about all of the operations in order to do a live student broadcast at Columbia River High School, Chieftain Stadium. Uh, once we're finished setting up, uh, I'm actually gonna be on air uh, as the color person for the broadcast. It's pretty interesting to have them following us around because I, I feel like you see the end product on TV, but you don't always know what goes into to making the show and it was pretty cool that he would take an interest to come down and actually see how the sausage gets made and how how we put in all those hours to make such a slick product for the, the viewers at home. This is the rack. So this is the rack. Yes. Uh, you can see here, um, this is the, uh, the preview monitor and then our, 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 our supervisor, Joel or Jory, can monitor all the different cameras coming in. Tell me a little bit about, I mean, I've seen programming happen in sort of a live shoot mm -hmm. behind the scenes and you've got someone who is managing, you know, queuing up uh, or feeding in mm -hmm. camera one or camera two or camera three or camera four. Who's making those judgments and where does it happen in this setting? So James, tell me a little bit about your role, uh, your responsibility during the live broadcast as the director, and then just show me a little bit about uh, the technical aspect of the board yeah. and the controls. So my job is to tell all the cameras back at the stadium what they should be filming, and then I choose which camera's live on the broadcast. <laughs> so this is really what the viewer sees at yeah. home or that's being streamed. This is another camera that is queuing in the event that you want to toggle back and forth to this camera or any of the other cameras, you would just queue that up over to this screen. Yeah, exactly. Okay, right. Maybe I could do this director gig. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> right? Huh? I feel like it's pretty cool because he gets to see it like uh, like you could hear like how students do it, but you could actually see the students doing it instead of just taking people's word for it. And he's kind of like a guy that's like kind of big up there. So I think it's pretty cool that he's going to come and see everything. A lot of it, you have to pay attention to the game the whole way. So like if you blink or something and you miss a whole play, then it's going to take a while for you to get back. So there's no popcorn breaks for you? Only or? during halftime. Okay, all right. I'm so proud of our student production teams. It's really about career-connected learning, creating the kind of learning experiences that set young people up for post-secondary success and the exposure that they're having with the digital capabilities that give us the ability to broadcast live and stream simultaneously is industry standard production side really is managed by students in the district. So there are adults involved in the process of producing the show and I, he, he saw some of that with um, the folks who come in from industry and help us out. Um, but it was really great also for him to see how the kids were doing their jobs, uh, to see maybe they're not quite up to the pro level yet, but they're getting there and they're working towards it and they're doing it under the watch of all of those pros that are actually on site and giving them guidance. It's just like a coach in football would be there telling the kid, you know, how to tackle. Well, the coach on our site is telling the kid how to frame a shot or how to do instant replays. So it's kind of the same thing. Well, for one, it gives me something to do outside of school and I just like all the opportunities it gives me. So like if I do enough of these, then I go and do special projects like the graduations or that Hudson's Bay back to school event. Like I said, it's a new opportunity and a new experience to try this out. And not everyone gets to do this. 
So I feel like I'm kind of uh, privileged to be here. As in with any broadcast, there's a play-by-play -play person and a color person. Right. Do you know the difference between those two positions? I do. Okay, good. Well, you're a I've, sports fan. You should know. I've watched a lot of football. This is my first on-air live broadcast. Uh, love the game of football, so I think I'm going to be okay on the color commentary side in uh, providing some insight relative to what's happening on the field. To fill in, yep. she'll pause after every play, and I'm going to make some, some really insightful <laughs> remark about the game. And one thing, some insight. Coverage by the Beavers. It will be the Chieftain ball on the 27 yard line. First and 10. He was great. He obviously knows a lot about football, which was really helpful if you're listening to the game. You can tell that he knows what he's talking about. Uh, he also came in with a really good attitude. He wanted to know how everything worked, um, which is all you can ask of somebody who's trying to learn. Uh, so, yeah, uh, it was really great having him in. Laurent? Fade right. He's going to throw it, and that's going to be completed to Will Buss. He'll scramble for a few extra yards, but that's going to get him over the 50. That's about a 10-yard out route. Nice ball. Really tight, tight pattern. I think he did all right. I mean, they were probably better announcers, but he was, he did the job. <laughs> he's going to look to throw it again. He's looking deep to eat. Eaton's going to catch that, and that's the first touchdown for the Chieftains of the game. That was pretty good coverage. Just a little go route. Eaton got a little separation at the end. Here it is. Just a great ball. Yeah, I think it's really cool that he does this. Like, he sees the kids doing their work and those kids are all volunteers they they're here because they want to learn and they want to get better and it's important for adults for us to recognize that work that those kids are doing and uh, for me it, it's important for him because it makes me feel that he values what I do for work um, I have a kind of unique job with the school district and it's easy to forget about us sometimes just back in our little corner but it's it's cool that he wants to know what we're doing and how we're helping contribute to the to the school district. Not very many school districts have the technical equipment and talent to do live broadcast of school sporting events and activities. It really is about building a broader sense of community and commitment to a local school, a school district, and really to see in a broader context for patrons the frontline value add proposition of the kinds of whole child experiences that we provide for our student athletes and student musicians and student actors. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna tee up a couple of things, and let's not even. Right. Okay. I mean, we know it's there, <laughs> right? These are part of the outtakes. Right. Right. So if I had a need for some bottled water and a hot dog, I could hit talk back, place that order, and then you'd run a and get it here for me. The first half of that, the best of that, the place shorter. 